Welcome back, everybody, to Coog Center on YouTube.com. My name is Jeff Newsom, one of the authors here at the site, back with you once again to break down another play for you. Today we've got an offensive play. It's the mesh concept passing play. Uh, before we get into it, though, I just want to let you know Brian Anderson did a long piece on our site breaking down some of the different aspects of the air raid offense. This is one of them. He does go into it. Um, I wanted to do this today for you just so you could kind of see it in video, maybe see it a little larger than life, and, uh, and, and really give you a sense of what's going on in a mesh play as it unfolds. The other reason I wanted to cover mesh sort of a little bit more is because it's one of the few passing plays where you can really see it develop on your screen. It happens so close to the line of scrimmage. You really don't need that wide angle or the all 22 in order to see it unfold. So without any further ado, let's take a look at one from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you a little play diagram here of a mesh concept. The mesh concept is really simple and you can see where the name comes from. The idea is to have these two receivers, two receivers on the opposite sides of the field, and it really could be any two receivers, have them cross paths somewhere near the middle of the field. The idea here is to create confusion on the defense. If the defense is in man-to-man, -man, then those guys trying to cover them, one guy should be able to set a pick for another guy, and another guy should come open as they both head to that same spot to cover the receivers. If they're playing in zone, you're hoping that maybe one of the zone guys, if, it's, if there's only one guy in the middle, you're hoping he picks one receiver or the other. If you've got two guys in the middle, you're hoping maybe both of them settle in on one guy or the other and, and one of the guys springs free. Um, this is a play you will probably see a lot of times on Saturday. So here it is against, uh, against Cal. You'll recognize this as Brett Bartoloni's touchdown. So you'll notice the Cougars have two by two, two receivers on the left, two receivers on the right, one running back in the backfield. Um, good luck figuring out what defense Cal is in. Brian Anderson and I looked at it, couldn't really figure it out. And then you, the, the kind of the beauty of the mesh is that it doesn't necessarily totally matter. So here's what you're going to see. You're going to see Bartoloni here come across the formation this way. You're going to see this receiver here, I think Simone, come across that way. And there's going to create this mesh point in the middle where the defenders have to go. Now the interesting thing about this play is that what you're going to see here is that these two guys appear to be lined up over the, top of, uh, uh, over the top of the receivers. But for this play, it's actually these two guys who end up covering the receivers. They both step up to try and fill in there, and these guys drop back basically into what looks like a bit of a zone. The beauty of this play is this, that it doesn't really necessarily matter which alignment it is or which guy covers who. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, watch it unfold a little bit as we go through. All right, so here we go, half speed. You're going to see these two guys. You're going to see a mesh. You're going to see the safeties come up. So let's freeze it right there. Okay, so here's what I want you to notice. These two guys are coming up to cover these guys. The other guys have bailed out into zone coverage. But notice how both guys are sort of looking in the same spot. Their eyes are in the exact same spot. That's exactly what you want as these two guys prepare to cross paths. And as you see here from this video, or from this, uh, from this still shot, these two guys have actually crashed into each other. Ball's in flight here. Bartoloni's wide open, and all he's got is green grass in front of him, and, and he's able to get in and score the touchdown. So let's go ahead and watch it again, all the way through, just for fun. All right, you got the snap. Receiver's going out, starting to mesh. Sometimes you'll see him even closer than that. Two guys run into each other. It almost works like a pick play. Wide open field, and Bartoloni's able to get in the end zone. That's the mesh concept. It's a staple of the air raid. You'll probably see it anywhere between 10 and 20 times in any given game uh, for the Cougars when Mike Leach is calling the plays. It is that fundamental to the air raid playbook. Watch for it on Saturday against Stanford. For CougCenter.com on YouTube, I'm Jeff Neusser. Thanks a lot.